What is going on, guys? Gray here today. I'll talk about season one of Modern Warfare 3, which arrives December the 6th. Today, we kind of got the roadmap looking at all of the details, and it does look pretty interesting. I think it's going to be a very good season. We're going to have all new maps and returning modes. We're going to have the new Warzone map, five free weapons, the next uh, Zombies mission, and more. So if you kind of look at the roadmap here, you see the things for Warzone. You see the features, for, of course, there, which is going to have the drivable train, the horizontal zip lines, big game bounty contracts, uh, quality of life updates, uh, fly-by public events. You're also going to have returning maps within uh, Warzone as well. Of course, the new Gulag. Um, also, some different modes like Battle Royale, Plunder, and Resurgence. When it comes to multiplayer, we're going to have Meat, Grease, Rio, uh, and training facility, which is going to be 2v2. So you're going to have three 6v6 maps and one 2v2 map. Two new kill streaks added in to um, multiplayer as well, the EMP and Swarm. Ranked play, which is going to be in season. You're going to have in season events for you know, like a Christmas style event, which is going to be sl uh, Santa's Sleigh Ground. This is the holiday event with theme, uh, themed maps and modes. Also going to have things like Gunfight, All or Nothing, Headquarters, Team Gunfight, and Infected coming back to multiplayer. We're going to have a brand new uh, kind of zombie story mission to continue on with the stories. Prestige challenges, um, new schematics for, of course, zombies. Dark uh, Aether Rifts, or Aether Rifts, excuse me. Also, some new, of course, skins and things. You're going to have the in-season things for Dune Part 2, and also another themed uh, kind of event for the boys' uh, skins as well. And there's also one skin there that is classified. We'll kind of have to wait and see about that. We're going to get two new operators in the battle pass. Of course, a new black cell operator and some new weapons. Five new weapons in total. Uh, the XRK Stalker, the Ram 7, the HRM 9, a uh, new TAC weapon, and also the new Storm Ender, which kind of looks like maybe a shotgun, some kind of energy weapon. We'll kind of have to wait and see, but... This looks like it's going to be a really good season. If they can continue to give this much content each season, of course, give a lot of stuff out in mid-season within this as well, this is going to be good for the game. And, of course, we're going to have an ultimate uh, Santa skin as well uh, when the season does start. It's going to be called Santa Nozzle, and it's going to be the Ultra skin. And it looks like a pretty cool-looking skin, I think, that will be very popular uh, in the community. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Uh, about this event i think it's going to be or not really just the event but the events within season one and how season one is going to kind of play out i think a lot of people are going to be excited hopping into war zone a lot of people on the multiplayer side are going to be happy a lot of people on the zombie side are going to be happy so it looks like they bring those like they're bringing stuff for everyone no matter what you're playing in modern warfare 3 whether it be war zone zombies or multiplayer you're like going to have a lot to do like i said leave me a comment with your thoughts and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.